The trade-off for protecting those plants is that you get to enjoy the changing leaf colors. Fall is in the air and Illinois loves to show off this time of year. You can take advantage of the season with some fun weekend getaways that don't require a ton of planning. Sylvia Garcia, director of the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, joins us live. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here today. Well, I'm excited to hear about the new fall colors tracker that just launched on Enjoy Illinois. What can you tell me about it? Sure, happy to. So on our Enjoy Illinois website, we're really focused on thinking about how people can explore all Illinois has to offer. And so we were so excited to start this fall tracker that helps you keep the fall season going all year long or all season long. So, you know, in Northern Illinois, we have uh, the leaves changing maybe a little bit earlier than Southern Illinois. And so our online tracker lets you be able to see month by month when the peak times will be in different regions of the state and plan your trip to see those beautiful fall colors. Well, speaking of planning a trip, Columbus Day weekend is coming up. What do you suggest for a local getaway? So I think there's lots of great options. I think there's so much that those of us in Chicago don't think about. Um, you know, I personally just went on a road trip uh, on the Great River Road connecting Grafton to Alton, and it's a beautiful site where you've got the Mississippi River on one side, rocks on the other, and fall is a great time to see those leaves changing. Uh, in addition to that, you've got Galena right again on the Mississippi with some beautiful uh, trees and visions. And then downstate, I think those of us in Chicago don't get down there enough. It's one of those hidden treasures. It was recently named the most underrated area uh, area of in the in the country to visit. Uh, so you see, you know, downstate there's opportunities in Shawnee National Forest and, and so many other places like Giant City State Park, uh, where you get the opportunity to see beautiful nature right in our home state here in Illinois. And just to give people an idea of how far these destinations are, how far is it from the Chicago area to Galena or to Shawnee? So to Shawnee, it's about a six hour drive. Um, there are some flights happening down there as well, but uh, it's a little bit of a road trip, but great for a, a long weekend. Uh, and then Galena, it's only a few hours uh, west from Chicago. And in addition to Galena, you could also stop along the way and check out Starved Rock National Park. So, so many different opportunities to, to be out in nature, enjoy that crisp weather that we were talking about. But I, I feel like fall is our best season in Illinois. And so it's such a great opportunity to get out and enjoy nature. It sure is beautiful. Now, some people, I'm not going to say who, <laughs> are really attracted to food destinations. So if food is really your thing, where in Illinois should you travel to outside of the Chicago area? Well, there's so many great food opportunities across Illinois. Um, I think Galena, I always love going uh, to the restaurants on Main Street uh, in Galena. It's a great place to be. Um, but I also love the hidden treasures. So uh, if you stop in Grafton, right on that Great River Road, they have a great ice cream shop. I'm not saying that that's my favorite, but uh, there's so many opportunities to try different food in different communities across the state. Thank you so much, Sylvia Garcia. We appreciate your time. You can learn more about different getaway spots in Illinois this fall at abc7chicago.com. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.